Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I have a smaller video for you today. I'm going to be talking about the social aspects of the video rental days. Now, when you go to Netflix, Amazon, Disney+, whatever your service of choosing may be, what you're getting is you're getting all of the entertainment you can possibly imagine at your fingertips. And some might say, that's great, I want that. But back in the video shop days, my video shop was Video Easy. That was my preferred video shop. Blockbuster was in Australia at the time. Civic Video was around at the same time. There were a lot of video chains in Australia. But for me, my preferred one was Video Easy. And when I would go to Video Easy, I would be able to go into that store, not know what I wanted to watch. And as streaming services do, you don't know what you're going to watch when you click onto them. You're just going there to look for something, essentially. But you would have the social aspect of it as well, like, you could talk to other people in the store and say like, hey, um, instead of them just showing you a trailer like you would see with Netflix, you might go in and say, okay, um, have you, have you seen Deadpool and Wolverine? What, what are your thoughts on it? And the other people there would be able to tell you, hey, yeah, that's a really good movie. Or nah, that was no good. Or they'll be able to give you their opinion on it. You could also talk to the person behind the counter and say, hey, what do you think? Like, are you getting in another copy of Titanic or something? Like, I want to really rent that. Oh yeah, we'll have a copy back later tonight. Or if you want to come back later, it'll be in. And you could have a chat and like, yeah, I've been hearing a lot about Titanic. Yeah, it's selling out a lot. Like obviously a lot of people want to see it. I think it was really big at the box office, you know. You could have a conversation with people. And as we've went more online and more connected, we've become more disconnected than ever. Which is kind of ironic, isn't it? So I've got this box set here and we're going to do something fun. This has the 25 movies. This was an anniversary box set. So this had 83 to 2008. And these are what were the top rentals, I believe, of those numbers. 25 years, 25 number one movies. And I would assume they would put the top movie of that year in the box set. So yeah, I think that's the case. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna have a look at what each of them have. If I can get them out, that is. <laughs> But yeah, we'll have a look at number one first. We'll see what this one has in it. 87, here we go. So 83, they've put Trading Places as number eight, as 1983. Then National Lampoon's Vacation as number uh, 80, as 1984. 1985 is Back to the Future. 1986 is Top Gun. And 1987 is Dirty Dancing. And I'd say that's pretty accurate of what would have been the big movies during that era. But let's have a, have a look at the actual set itself. Let's have a look at the actual spine. The back of it is what I was just reading there. And then let's open it up. There's a quote from the movie um, Maverick and Goose from Top Gun. Was Top Gun, did I say Top Gun was in here? Yeah, Top Gun, 86. I feel the need, the need for speed. <laughs> but yeah, um, wow, it even has like a little pamphlet in it. Look at that, you have the discs in there like that, but we also have this little thing. I'm just gonna rest that there. I don't wanna really ruin that. We even get a little pamphlet, look at that. Like, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, so this box is pretty cool because it shows an error in time when video shops would have been the big go-to for everyone to get their movies from. And when it would be almost like a Friday night experience to go to the video shop and rent something and watch it over the course of the weekend or overnight if it's a new release. Let's go to the next round of them. So this box set's from 88 to 2002. And in this box set, wow, that's a really good one. Pamphlet, I'll show that in a moment. But we have Die Hard in 88. When Harry Met Sally in 89. Pretty Woman was 1990. Wow, that's, okay, that's old. <laughs> I thought that was like 95 for some reason. I thought that was way newer. Terminator 2 is 91, okay, that makes sense. And then 92 is Basic Instinct. Sharon Stone, what can you say? And then you have another pamphlet in here, but here's how the discs look. And obviously you have a quote there. Welcome to the party, pal. Die hard, obviously. And you have the little pamphlet. You have John McClane on the front. You have Terminator 2 on the back. And you have a sort of little shtick in here of what the movie's about. Pretty cool. So let's keep going. We're going to get through this box set. I don't want to take a half hour video for this one. So we're just going to go pretty quickly and then I'll talk about it afterwards. We also have, this is 93 to 97. 
93, Jurassic Park. 94 is Shawshank Redemption. 95 is Braveheart. 96 is Independence Day. And 97 is Titanic. So obviously they're going off for release here. You can see that right now. No caveat for me, thanks. Never did like it much. Classic Jack Dawson line. <laughs> and then you obviously see the discs in there. If I can grab them out, you can see the discs there. And then we'll just have a quick look at what's underneath. So we have Jack and Rose. You have Braveheart. And you have, um, yeah, the little, little pamphlet inside to say what the movies are about. Pretty cool box set so far. And I really enjoy having this in my collection. This is one of my favorite things in my collection. So let's uh, let's go to the next thing. So this will be 98 to 2002. Let's go to the back. There's something about Mary is 1998. Wow, that's starting to feel old. 99 Matrix, obviously. 2000 Gladiator, obviously Gladiator was massive. If you think Gladiator was big outside of Australia, it was huge in Australia because of, you know, Russell Crowe. Uh, 2001 Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring, and then 2002 Born Identity. And then a quote from something about Mary. Is that, is that, is that hair gel? <laughs> and then we'll just have a look at the discs real quick. Oh, I want to talk about this real quick. Who remembers the Matrix DVD? That one right there. It had that awesome menu music and it would be like, it would go on an endless loop. And you could, you'd wake up and you'd just be like in a rave and it was like that really cool, like, do do you know, it just kept playing. It was like, I miss that music. I'm, I'm so sad they didn't bring it over for like the newer releases, like Blu-ray and 4K, but that music on that disc, I definitely want to keep that around as long as possible. But let's have a quick look at the pamphlet we got with it. Obviously, Ben Stiller on the back, something about Mary. Gladiator, Russell Crowe on the back here. And then you have the inside, obviously, 25 year number one, the little, the little thing about the movies. But yeah, that Matrix, the Matrix DVD. If you haven't seen the Matrix music, you have to, like the DVD music. Well, that was on like the early DVDs. Welcome to the real world. Morpheus opens it up with welcome to the real world. And then it starts playing that really cool loop. But yeah, some Australian people will know what I, I'm talking about. I don't know if it was worldwide, but the Australian release of that had some really cool music on the menu. Let's quickly look at whatever is this, 2003 to 2007. So 2003... Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl, 2004, The Notebook, 2005, Batman Begins, 2006, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, 2007, Transformers. And then the quote in this one is, well, a guy who dresses up as a bat clearly has issues. <laughs> Who's been watching that TikTok star who does like, who dresses up as Batman and just like shows like how dark Batman is, like just kicking the, beating people up for no reason. It's not Maxwell 2049, though, I would admit. <laughs> Who knows that cat? That cat's insane. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, that's what the discs look like. That's what the quote looks like. And this is what the cover looks like. And then we'll just have a look at the pamphlet. You have that little Batman poster there. You have Mr. and Mrs. Smith behind there. Angelina Jolie, Brad Pitt. Product of time. <laughs> and then you have the little thing inside. And the reason why I have this in my collection, really, is because it is a throwback to an era that is now long gone. It has, I mean, my video shop shut down in like 2012, 2013. So it's really like a gone era now. It's something that is almost lost media in a way. And that makes me sad because the video shops were a great experience. Obviously the closest thing we have to them now is JB Hi-Fi and going into store to buy. Obviously you can say CEX or, you know, secondhand shops, but the closest thing we had at the time, like to that, is maybe JB Hi-Fi, and that's if you get someone who works in the entertainment section who knows their movies, which the East Garden store used to have, has the guy who knows his movies, but they took away his entertainment section, so JB Hi-Fi is kind of getting out of entertainment in a lot of ways. There are stores that still have it, but you can just see JB Hi-Fi slowly getting out of physical media, and it's kind of sad to see, because JB Hi-Fi was essentially the last, and to see them at least pulling back if not slowly transitioning out of it, it's sad. But saying that, this is a product of an era that is like now gone. And you can see what was in these over the course of 25 years. You can see what movies people were watching. And while it's not something everyone's going to be nostalgic about, even that logo on the front there, the Video Easy logo, like 
it's such a nostalgic trip just to have that on the front of something like a piece of physical media that is now a race media. And oh, this is what the book box looks like, guys. It's a compendium. It's called the compendium. You get the gold highlighting there. Obviously, the back looks like that, and then the side looks like that. You get the 25th thing at the front top there. And then at the bottom, you just get another logo. But yeah, tell me your experiences going to the video shop. Do you miss them? Like, what was some of your childhood memories of going to the video shop? Tell me in the comments, guys, because I love hearing that sort of stuff. And, you know, I don't think we're ever going to have it back, but it would be nice to see a resurgence of, like, rental stores come back at some point. Even as, like, a throwback sort of one-year sort of deal if it comes back for a year. But obviously, they would have to have the stock available, which is a lot harder now. But it would be nice to see like a throwback of sorts. I know Blockbuster goes to the conventions over in America. There's also that last Blockbuster store in America. And yeah, there are still video shops in Australia, some of them. And they're going away very fast. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.